Are you ready for some good news? God doesn't love you just theoretically. He loves you personally. Christ has affection for you. Here's today's text from Philippians 1. For God is my witness, how I yearn for you, all with the affection of Christ Jesus. It's Philippians 1, 8. But one day when our youngest child, Abby, was feeling left out of the games her big brother and his friends were playing, I tried to comfort the little girl. Abby, I said, when I was growing up, I was the youngest one in my family just like you. I was the little one. So I know what it's like to feel left out of things. It's not easy. But, I added hopefully, there are some things that are good about being the little one. Can you think of anything that's good about being the littlest one? Curly-headed, blonde little girl thought about it for a moment and replied, Well, you do get holded more. <laughs> As Paul opened his epistle to the Philippians, he wanted them to know how deep his love was for them. He used a beautiful phrase to describe how he felt toward them, the affection of Christ Jesus. Paul had Christ's own affection for the Philippians. The, the Greek word translated affection is splengizomai, a term that refers to the inner organs like the liver, heart, and lungs. It was the Greek way of saying, I feel for you in the deepest way. Or to say it even more passionately, all of my insides feel affection for you. Literally, Paul was saying, I feel for you in the entrails of Christ Jesus. Deepest affection. That's what Christ has for you. The wonderful thing about affection is that anyone can experience it. C.S. Lewis pointed out that though we choose our friends and mates, the wonderful thing about affection, he says, quote, the especial glory of affection is that it can unite those who most emphatically, even comically, are not made for each other. People who if they had not found themselves put down by fate in the same household or community, would have had nothing to do with each other. A mother has affection for her child just because the child is in her arms. God's affection for you isn't found in how fitting you are for God, but simply in the fact that you are His. It's nourishing to contemplate the affection of Christ for you. In the scope of the cosmos, you might feel like the littlest one. And that's okay. After all, you do get holded more, and that's the gospel. Well, that's today's daily devotional, and if you've not yet heard today's full broadcast uh, on this important subject about the affection of Christ, I urge you to go get more good news at sharingthelight.org. The message is there, and it's free. Mm -hmm.